Richard Wagner. His music dramas form a milestone of European music history and count towards the most frequently performed operas worldwide. No other composer knew how to translate emotions and perceptions into music as well as he did. How did he manage to also set migraine headache to music in such great precision? We studied the original sources from uh, Richard Wagner and it became clear to us that he knew headache very well from his own experience and he referred to them as the main plague of his life. He writes, your head is buzzing, you don't know where you are, seem as if in a dream and all is flickering before your eyes. Quite so, we all know about that from our experience. As neurologists, we were particularly intrigued by the fact that Richard Wagner um, composed in his music headache or migraine in particular. The first sentence in his opera Siegfried is compulsive plague, pain without end. <laughs> So the pain is in the center of his music. So the music starts gradually, slowly. And s slowly becomes more intense. You can hear the pulsating. Just like you would experience in a migraine attack, it would pulsate in your head. So Wagner managed to express his migraine that he experienced in the music. The Kiel Migraine and Headache Center coordinates the German nationwide headache treatment network. Founding director, Professor Hartmut Goebel, carries out headache research and treats patients who, like Richard Wagner, suffer from migraine and headache disorders. You come here today because of your headaches. Could you describe how they feel like? I've got uh, headache attacks which last up to three days. The headache is on one side, it's very strong. I get very sensitive to light, I've got to close the curtains, I'm sensitive to noises. I get nausea and vomiting and I have to lie down. During the beginning of the migraine attack, we have a hyperactivation of brainstem nuclei. This produces a sensitization of dural and menstrual vessels. And as we can see here, there's a direct activation, a release of neurotransmitters. This produces inflammation, and this is the reason for this throbbing and very painful pulsating headache, which we can directly hear in the opera Siegfried. So Richard Wagner, more than 150 years ago, did already know what happening, what is happening in the brain. A migraine with aura can also be seen in the music, in, in Richard Wagner's composition of Siegfried. So um, you can hear in the music, in the notes, the flickering light, the zigzag lines that the patient experience when they see their aura. Um, so Wagner must have had auras himself, otherwise he would have not been able to compose that way. So Wagner actually had so much pain that he had to interrupt his work in the middle of the second act of Siegfried, the opera we were just talking about. Uh, he was no longer able to uh, compose because of his pain. He suffered so deeply.
One question remains. Why was Wagner always wearing a hat, even indoors? Well, simply because cis was a standard remedy against headache at that time. But I wonder, what would his music have been like had Wagner been treated against headache at the time? <laughs>